when did you feel um, in your life that blackness was something that was powerful to identify? And then how do you talk to your kids about that who have seen pictures of your kids don't immediately present as black? So the first part, um, my mom, when I was growing up, my mom used to always say, don't let anybody tell you you're not black and don't let anybody tell you you're not Latina. I grew up in an all-white neighborhood, so I was like, okay, crazy person. Like, what the <laughs> f- are you talking about? There's not a single person who's telling you, like, girl, you're not black. I mean, if anything, like, can I touch your hair? Yeah. Wow. I mean, why, why are your lips not so big? I don't understand, you know, blah, blah, blah. So on and on. I literally thought she was insane. Like, completely nuts and then when I did um we did a documentary series at CNN called Black in America Mm -hmm. and people would stand up and be like well you're not I mean the just what yeah I mean I I had no idea the like the what was gonna the tidal wave of like just stuff that would come out of people aimed at me and um and it really I was like oh this is what she meant so I was 40 something right I was just like this is what she meant when someone would stand up and be like, you Notably, are Jesse not Jackson, real, right? right? Well, yeah, but he was a separate thing. We were actually having lunch, and okay. he did. He, he really, I think what he was talking about was he felt like Caribbean black people were not American black people, and that that was a very significant, I mean, you can laugh, but I think for him, in the civil rights movement, that was considered a very big difference. And so I, I don't think that that was a small thing for him. So I don't think he was sort of saying, like, you're not black, you're white. I think he was just like, like, your experiences have nothing to do with my experiences. Mm-hmm. Um, I think he was still wrong. But really, it was more that just for people kind of in the audience who would be like, well, you know, you're, why do you get to tell these stories? 